All right, hello again, my fellow warriors. Um, it's me, I'm Tori, the yoga instructor for Texas A&M Central Texas. Um, so we're back again with our next installment of socially distanced yoga mindfulness. And I'm gonna see if I can get us uh, moving a little bit more today. So um, let's start with our beginner mindset first. So no judgment, no expectation, no need to accomplish any one thing at all. We're just moving and we're just breathing, okay? doesn't have to be graceful and it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. Um, but as always, I'll still keep up the um, really, um, the really uh, wordy descriptions, not wordy, the, uh, the descriptions of what's going on, what muscles we're trying to focus on. So um, if, uh, if you're feeling a little bit lost along the way, don't even hesitate to just pause, take a break, put your mind back in the right place and then pick back up where you have left off. If you've had any recent injuries um, that might make certain postures sound just really excruciating to you, by all means, you don't have to practice anything you don't want to. You're not here to impress me. You're not here to impress yourself. You're just moving, just breathing, okay? No pressure, no judgment, no expectation. Okay, let's go ahead and get started today <clears throat> in our tabletop, actually. So we're gonna start with hands and knees at the mat. My apologies ahead of time. My cat, Bayorn, likes to be a part of things when I'm on the floor, so he's probably going to be in the way. But uh, here we go anyway. Um, so for our tabletop posture, let's remember hands, fingertips spread out wide, starfish hands right beneath the shoulders, knees right beneath the hips. Okay. So we're going to start moving. Let's extend the right leg long behind us and point the toe. And then we're going to try and extend the spine even further. So we've got a spinal extension here from the shoulders down to the hips, but let's extend forward with the opposite hand. Right foot is back, left palm steps forward. Maybe we need to hold our balance here. Maybe we can lift up like we're gonna shake someone's hand. We're gonna start with five crunches on this side. So we're gonna exhale, bring the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend out long, exhale, and reach. Keep it going. Okay, two more extensions. And when we come back into our neutral place, let's drop our hands beneath the shoulder, drop the toe way back there at the end of the mat, tuck the toe under so we have a connection here. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and push back into the heart, the hips, and the heels. So we're going to bounce on that heel a little bit. Bouncing, if it sounds too intimidating for you, of course, you can just hold. Um, but if that stretch is too intimidating, the bouncing kind of helps you come in and out of the intensity of the stretch. Okay, so from our runner stretch, this is where we're going to challenge ourselves today. Let's extend, uh, we'll bring the heart up over the wrist first. The back toe is still strong and tucked under. Let's extend the left leg beside the right. Ooh, hold the hips in line with shoulders and heels. And then let's chaturanga. So let's push forward, squeeze the elbows to release, turn the tops of the feet flat. Inhale, lift the heart up a little baby cobra. Exhale to release. Inhale, find tabletop, and then exhale, push the hips back to meet the heels. Stretch the arms way out long in front of you, okay? We want to stretch the spine long. Drop the forehead heavy. Awesome. Inhale, look forward, rise up to tabletop right where we started. So hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, and fingertips spread out wide again. Awesome. Let's try that on our left side, left leg long. Right palm reaches forward, maybe rises. Okay, we'll try five crunches here as well. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale. All right, last one. And reach. Okay, we'll drop the palm beneath the shoulder. We'll drop the toe to the end of the mat. Tuck the toe under. Let's go ahead and have that heel standing tall to the sky. And then we'll push the heart, hips, and heel towards the back of the room. Again, we can hold the stretch or we can bounce. But we're going to be mindful of how that calf muscle feels today. Okay, come into stillness, heart right up over the wrist. When you're ready, right toe beside the left toe, lower the hips, strong core. Exhale to release. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, release. Inhale, find tabletop. 
Exhale, child's pose. Woo, stretch those arms way out. Drop the forehead heavy. Great breath in the body here. Awesome. All right, let's look forward towards our hands. Let's rise into our tabletop, hands and knees at the mat. Let's go ahead and climb up into our kneeling mountain here. So we're gonna set the knees a little bit outside of hip distance. Feet are still flat, but we'll climb up over the hips, over the knees. Whew. All right, so when we have our kneeling mountain here, we still build up the spine tall and proud, just like we would in our normal mountain, but we're kneeling. So, you know, shorter mountain. Build up the spine tall, roll the shoulders back, hands at either sides of the hips so that that heart space stays wide open. Okay. Let's try to inhale, sweep the palms wide and tall overhead. Exhale, maybe as we uh, exhale, we can lean a little bit back if we feel safe doing so. Okay, come into a neutral spine. And let's exhale, sweep the palms way behind our back. We're gonna get a chest and shoulder opener here. We'll try to lace the fingers behind the body, bringing the palms closer together. Maybe we can push the arms strong to the ground behind us. Or some of us do have a little more mobility in the shoulder. Now we'll be mindful here, but if you feel like you've got a little more mobility, breathe and move with the breath. So if you can, we'll inhale, lift the pinkies to the sky, and we'll exhale, rest the arms back down heavy. Inhale, peeling back. Exhale, resting down. Awesome. Two more breaths. And exhale. Last time, lifting and lowering. Shake the arms out a little bit. Okay. Let's move into our tabletop. We're going to set our palms just about shoulder width apart, knees about hip width apart again. And then let's start on our left side this time. So let's extend the left leg to the end of the mat. Tuck the toe under. We're going to sweep the right ankle behind us like a kickstand. And then we're going to rock the left hip and shoulder taller than the right, left palm to the sky. And we're going to turn the blade of that left foot inward so that the entire inside edge of the, um, like the big toe to the inside of the heel are right there planted in the ground. Left palm taller than the right. All right, supported side plank. Here's our challenge. We're going to sweep our breath. So we've done this before. When we exhale, we're going to sweep that palm in front of us and thread that arm underneath our right. Look to the back of our room. Inhale, rise back up. Unwind. All right. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, rise. We're going to try this three more times. Option to extend the right leg beside the left. And rise. Twist. And rise, last time. And rise, awesome. Come to tabletop, both hands, both knees. Fold back for child's pose, stretch the arms way out, drop the forehead heavy, two breaths. Awesome, look forward to the hands. Rise up to our tabletop. I'm going to rotate on the mat, but we're going to do the same flow on the opposite side. So I'll be right back to normal in a moment. Don't worry. Right leg extends long behind us. Tuck the toe under at the end of the mat, just like our runner stretch. Left foot sweeps behind us. Right hip and shoulder rise. Right palm to the sky. Take a moment. Find where your stretch is across the hip. And just breathe. Okay, It doesn't have to be perfect, and it doesn't have to be graceful, but here we are. Okay? We're going to try those sweeping breaths, five on this side as well. So when we exhale, we'll sweep under the body, look back, inhale, rise up, exhale, sweep. And as you continue, you can change your challenge level. Whew, whatever you feel safe with. All right, last time, last twist, and unwind. Find your way to tabletop, both hands, both knees, fold back for child's pose, two breaths, <sighs> heavy forehead. All right, let's look forward to our thumbs, rise into tabletop. This is where I'll rotate back to the top of my mat. Awesome. From our 
our tabletop here. Now we're going to start to incorporate what we were doing in the hips and our uh, kneeling tape, our, uh, our kneeling mountain. So for the purpose of this practice, I'm going to rotate to face you guys actually. Um, but you can stay facing the top of your mat and we're going to need a little bit more space around us this time. So let's start with our um, tabletop here. Instead of extending back, let's go ahead and kick our right leg long behind us and then swing, turn that toe towards the side of the room rather than straight back. Here, let me move it out. There we go. Instead of straight back, turn the toe to the side of the room and bring that toe around beside you at the hip, okay? We don't wanna go in front of the hip towards the hands, but we'll try to line it up with our knee that we're resting on, okay? Inner blade of the foot starts, and then we can roll that foot flat. Awesome. Now let's climb up into our kneeling mountain. Let's begin to rise up whoo, over our balancing knee, okay? And you can do this long ways across the mat, or you can turn like I have, to keep your feet and your knees on the mat at the same time, totally up to you, okay? Either way, we're in our, we're almost in our gate pose here. So we're gonna sweep our palms tall overhead, reach up to the sky, and relax the shoulders away from the ears a little bit, okay? It's like we're reaching with our heart and our hands, but we don't have to crunch to do that, you know? All right, so here we are. We are going to use our next breath, okay? Let's imagine uh, let's imagine our our warrior sequence here. Okay, so this is a familiar place for us. Let's reverse our warrior by dropping our right palm to a long, strong bone in the right leg, softening that elbow and reaching across the body with that left hand. It's a lot like our warrior sequence. Okay, opening up from the hip to the shoulder. Strong stretch. Inhale, both palms tall. Exhale, lower the palms to shoulder height, and we're gonna move forward with our left hand. So let's careful release our left hand in the mat in line with our left knee and our right foot, very much like our, our twisting flow that we just did. But here we're gonna focus only on the arm up in the sky. So I'm gonna take a moment to create a lot of great space in that shoulder. So let's inhale, reach towards the front of the room overhead, Exhale, drop heavy across the heart space. Sweep towards the back of the room and then inhale, rise up tall. Exhale, roll. I know it seems silly, but we're creating a lot of space in that shoulder as we roll through all of this range of motion. <sighs> Last time, rise up nice and even over the shoulder. Let's imagine we have hold of a rope in the sky. So that right hand can take hold and pull ourselves up to neutral, palms to shoulder height. Whew. All right, and then we're gonna reverse. So uh, right palm drops to a strong bone in the right leg, left palm sweeps back, overhead, big breath. Exhale, neutral. Exhale, reach and careful release. Okay, inhale, rise up like warrior two now. We're seeing it. Exhale to reverse, inhale to neutral, exhale, extend. Ooh, last time, I promise. Inhale, rise up, exhale to reverse, last time. And I like to call that one our windmill flow because we kind of move in a windmill fashion. Both palms will rise up tall. Okay, let's exhale, forward fold, finding our way to tabletop. Both hands in the mat. And then we'll soften that knee way out wide, drop beneath the hip again. Let's this time leave the hips tall for puppy pose. Hang on, let me adjust real quick. All right, for puppy pose, it's like our child's pose, but the hips stay straight up over the knees. So the hands can walk way out and we can exhale and drop the belly button and drop the heart, but we're gonna leave the hips tall. We're trying to stretch out that low back space. Opportunity to rest the weight of the body back a little bit or just go into child's pose. Totally up to you. Okay, rise up to tabletop. And let's try all of that on our left side. So let me rotate to you again. Okay, we're gonna extend that left leg back and I'm gonna move it over to the side real quick. So the toe naturally wants to point down to the earth, but we're gonna turn that toe out to the side of the room. 
and then swing that hip alongside us, even if we have to step and scoot and step, that's okay. Okay, we're gonna line it up with our knee. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so we line it up with our knee. We roll the foot flat when we have our place so that we've got a good grip on that foot. And we'll climb up Ooh. for kneeling mountain. Yes, okay, cool. So now that we've built up the spine tall and proud, we've got an inner thigh stretch here, and we've got a lot of stability relying on this knee beneath us. Let's use that as our point of uh, uh, stillness. Okay, we'll sweep the palms wide and tall overhead. Relax the shoulders at the top. It feels like we're reaching with our heart and our hands this time. <sighs> okay, we're gonna practice that windmill flow again. So let's start with the right palm remaining overhead. And just exhale, drop the left palm to the back thigh. Strong bone, not the kneecap, not the hip itself. Strong bone, okay? Right palm sweeps back across the midline of the body. Ah, big stretch. We feel like the hip is pulling down and the shoulder is lifting up. Big stretch. Okay. We'll inhale to neutral. And exhale, palms come to shoulder height. Our next exhale, we're going to reach with the right hand and careful lower, like our side plank from earlier. And we're going to start with that great range of motion in the shoulder up in the sky, okay? So we're going to inhale, reach forward, exhale, drop the arm heavy and swing back. Inhale, rise and reach and drop and reach. Okay, keep on going one more time. Actually, one more time after this, just because, yay. Awesome, rise up nice and tall. Okay, now let's start that windmill flow. Let's pull the heart up to neutral, shoulder height. Exhale, reverse. Okay, inhale to neutral. Exhale, extend carefully. Take a breath. When you're ready, inhale, rise. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, release. Awesome. Let's rise up to neutral. Let's reverse our last time. Windmill flow. Very cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring both palms tall overhead. Relax the shoulders if you need to. I always catch myself. <sighs> okay. Palms come down to the mat. Looking for our tabletop. Both hands in the mat. Soften the knee and bring that knee beneath the hip. Fold back for child's pose. Push the hips to the back of the room. Drop the forehead heavy. Okay, from child's pose, we can move into our puppy pose. It's going to be weird and kind of funny and silly, but we're going to look forward to where our thumbs are. Okay, here we go. We're going to walk the hands forward and peel the hips up as we go. You can move as far forward as you feel safe going, or you can keep the hips as far back as you need to. We don't, ex we don't want to extend beyond the knee, so if we can, we'll stop right above, or we'll keep the body weight a little bit back. Either way, drop the belly button heavy, drop the heart, drop the forehead, big breath. Okay, and now we're going to try something called sneaky snakes. So leave the hands just where they are. Look forward to the thumbs, and this time, leave the knees. Scoot the heart forward and careful release. Ooh, I'm not super good at that. Some people can scoot right up close to the mat. I, well, anyway, here we are. Palms beneath the shoulders, elbows tucked in close. We're gonna peel up the heart a little bit. Baby Cobra, all core strength, no hands. Exhale to release, tuck the toes under behind us. Push the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. If you need to go to tabletop first and then push up and back, you're not alone. Okay, so for downward facing dog, we can soften the knees, we push the hips to the sky, and we also push the heart towards the knees. Okay, big breath, that's our down dog. Push the heart. Pedal out the heels and ankles. Okay, pause for a moment, lift up to the tippy toes, and drop the heels heavy. Awesome. Let's go ahead and keep on moving a little bit. So we're going to create flows where we don't normally have them. Let's inhale, pull the heart forward over the wrist. Exhale, push up and back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, up and back. 
Last time, come forward, up and back, down dog. Swing the right leg high behind us, and we're gonna create a great big hip opener here. So let's bend the knee in the sky, bring the heel really close to the glute. Best effort, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then make sure the palms and the left foot feel strong because we're lifting the right hip taller than the left, pointing the right knee to the sky, and trying to keep the heart neutral at the ground. Okay, let's exhale, level the hips. Let's bring the knee towards our chest a little bit, but stay in down dog, okay? Let's push that right foot across the midline of the body to our left side, okay? Turn the foot out to the side of the room, and then let's lower the shoulders over the wrists, drop the right hip under the left hip, turn the left toe, and then stack the left shoulder over the right, left palm to the sky. Ooh, all right, a balancing side plank, big breath. And let's level the hips and shoulders, drag the right foot back, push the hips to the sky, push the heart to the knees. <sighs> awesome, let's try that on the opposite side. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, exhale. One more time, come forward. Exhale, come back. Awesome. Let's try the hip opener first. Sorry, I gotta fix up my shirt. Okay. <sighs> Let's try the hip opener first. Let's sweep the left leg high behind us, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, bring the heel close. Moving for what we call rocking horse. Let's stack the left hip taller than the right, point the left knee to the sky. Try to keep the heart and face centered on the ground. And let's level the hips, bring the knee towards our nose. Let's start bringing the heart over the wrist first and see if high plank helps. And then kick the left foot open underneath the right side of the body. Drop the left hip, stack the right shoulder. Turn that heel, that right heel behind us. One more breath. Level the hips and shoulders. Drag the left foot back to our left side. Hips to the sky. Heart towards the knees. Drop the knees to the mat. Untuck the toes. And bring the hips down to the heels. Child's pose, awesome. Really breathe, breathe nice and strong here. Um, I think I've mentioned it before, but if you're carrying a lot of heat in the body, it sometimes helps to audibly sigh the exhale away. All right, it'll help you carry heat out. Okay, when you're ready, let's rise up to tabletop. Let's go ahead and take uh, a moment for um, a hero's pose. So we're going to try and stack up the spine, but we're going to leave the tops of the feet flat behind us. Walk the hands back towards the knees. Rest the hips over the heels, over the ankles. Okay, start to stack up the spine. And as always, if it's not, if it's just not cooperating with you to come this far back, I know a lot of tension happens right at the top of, right at the bottom of the thigh, right where the knee meets. Um, if that is just on fire and you don't feel like doing this today, keep the body weight forward. We'll lift the hips a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Heroes pose. Great breath in the body. Wide open heart space. Okay. When you're ready, let's move forward to tabletop. Okay, palms spread out wide beneath our shoulders. Let's go ahead and tuck the toes under, sweep the hips up and back to the sky. And this time, let's walk the hands back to meet our downward, our, sorry, our feet back here at the end of our mat for our forward fold. We'll drop the crown of the head heavy to the ground. We'll soften the knees if it helps relax the hamstrings. We'll shake the head yes. And shake the head no. Okay, let's rise up to our half lift. 
Exhale, hang heavy. Inhale, rise up. And let's climb up over the knee towards our mountain. Best effort for a tall spine the whole time we rise up. Okay. We'll roll the shoulders back at the top. We'll shake it out if we need to, get a little loosey-goosey. All right, and we've got our mountain. So we settle the feet in strong, forward and back if we need to. Find that connection to the ground. Soften the knees. Build up the spine. Roll the shoulders back. And we've got Tadasana, mountain. Okay, let's see if we can create a little bit of a flow here as well. Um, so this one's going to be interesting but it's gonna involve the upper body twist that we've been working on. So let's sweep the palms wide and tall overhead. Relax the shoulders at the top. Lift the heart to the sky, lean a little bit back. Find our neutral spine again. And uh, let's go ahead and shift our body weight to our right leg. Now let's shift our body weight to our left leg so you can see what I'm up to first. Let's buckle our right knee, peel up our right heel. Try to lift that toe off of the mat. Best effort. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, stork pose. <sighs> From stork pose, with our next exhale, step that right foot forward, plant the foot. Knees safe over the ankle or a little bit behind, but not beyond. Okay, safe over the ankle. Exhale, bring the palms down with you. Okay. The back heel will be more comfortable if you peel it up off of the ground a little bit. Okay, we're going to leave our left palm in the mat, and our right palm is going to curl into a fist, and we're going to bring that fist up close to our left shoulder, and then inhale, sweep wide and open to our right side. Exhale, plant the right palm in the mat, and we're going to lift up the finger pads, and we're going to lift the heart. Swing the palms tall, relax the shoulders. Okay, when you're ready, let's go ahead and lean the heart a little bit forward. Hold strong, you got it. Act as though you're reaching for something that someone is trying to hand to you. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release the hands to our hips. And this might take a couple of steps, so be patient with yourself. We're going to push off of that right foot and step back into mountain. So take your time. Make sure your feet feel strong. Push off of the mat. Find mountain. Shake it out. Loosey goosey. And we're going to try and create a whole flow out of that. So patience, okay? After a couple of steps, we'll catch the swing of it. Maybe. Maybe we'll just take it easy and move slow. Okay. Inhale. Palms rise up. Relax the shoulders. Lift the heart. Maybe a little bit of a back bend. Find our neutral space, shift our body weight to our right leg, buckle up our left knee and heel. Hold steady, one breath. With the next exhale, we step forward. Okay, we check the legs. We'll exhale, forward fold. Right palm inside of the left foot, left arm curls up close. Inhale, swing wide. Exhale, both palms to the mat, finger pads. We're going to push the heart up tall, crescent, warrior one. Sweep the palms overhead and relax. And then exhale, lean a little bit forward and reach. Somebody's handing us something important. And then let's rise back up, hands to the hips. Okay, remember, we're pushing off of the front foot. Take your time. Let's go ahead and... Push back into mountain, even if it takes a couple steps. Pace yourself. Shake it out. <sighs> okay, let's try two more times on each side. I know what it sounds like, but it's a big movement. It's a big flow for us, so let's try. All right, when you're ready, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. All right, inhale. And exhale, okay, exhale, inhale, and exhale, and exhale, inhale, 
And let's exhale. One more breath. All right, rise up. Exhale, hands to hips. Gather another breath, you've got it. And exhale, Whew. shake it out. We're getting it, and if the breath is not easy, just focus on how you feel moving, okay? Don't have to be perfectly synced with the breath. It just helps to have that exhale to push. Okay, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and exhale. Okay, inhale. <sighs> exhale. One more breath. Inhale, exhale. Last time, gather that breath. <sighs> Shake it out. One more time on each side. It's a whole body kind of a rolling movement kind of thing. Okay, you can do it. One more on each side. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Yes. Inhale. And exhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, hang in there, and inhale, and exhale, last breath on this side, Ooh, shake it out, all right, last time I promise. Gather yourself, put your mind in the right space. No judgment, no expectation, no need for accomplishment. All right. Hmm. Okay. Inhale, palms nice and tall. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, let's go ahead and shift to our left side, bubble to right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the hand, exhale, sweep, exhale, release, inhale, rise, palms to the sky, exhale, lean forward and reach, extra breath, <sighs> inhale, rise, exhale, release, hand, and when you're ready, push off of that, Ooh, that's it, shake it out, get really loosey-goosey. Ah, we did the challenge part. Now it's time to cool down. So let's go ahead and use our next inhale. Sweep the palms wide and tall overhead. Maybe take a back bend if you like. Find our neutral spine. Exhale, soften the knees. Dive into our forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Let's walk our hands way out. We're going to find downward facing dog, so we'll keep the hips lifted to the sky and we'll push the heart back. <sighs> okay, let's drop the knees to the ground. And we're going to try our wide stance, child pose, because our low back is probably feeling a little bit tense from all that balancing work. So let's set the knees to the edge of the mat. Okay, leave the two big toes together in the middle. Push the hips down to meet the heels. Drop the elbows before you, maybe crossing the arms if you like. Drop the belly button heavy, drop the heart heavy, and drop the forehead. Excellent. Just breathe. Complete inhale. Complete exhale. Three more cycles of breath. We're really going to catch our breath this time. You don't have to check on me. I'm so concerned. <sighs> Stay on. <laughs> All right, let's find our way into a seated posture. 
So I'm going to rise up into my tabletop. I'm going to reset my hands, reset my knees. Whew. Okay, for a moment, let's go ahead and take care of our wrists and our forearms. So let's, from our tabletop, with hands spread out wide beneath our shoulders, elbows a little bit bouncy, rock the body weight a little forward, rock the body weight a little bit back. Don't go far, don't go fast. Just kind of challenge that grip that you have on the mat beneath you. Okay, no hurry, no rush. Okay, come into neutral. Let's go ahead and turn our fingertips towards the two top corners of the mat. So the hands are gonna kind of angle outward just a little bit. The two top corners. And again, we'll rock a little bit forward. Be mindful of how we feel. Rock a little bit back. Okay. Being mindful. That's the important part. Okay. Let's turn the fingertips out to the long sides of the mat here. So the hands are going to be definitely facing away from each other. Okay. Instead of rocking forward and back, rock a little bit to your left side, a little bit to your right side. And then I promise we'll get off of the wrists in a moment. Just be patient. We'll get there, I promise. Okay, come back to neutral. We're going to keep on going. So let's turn our fingertips a little more backward. So now the hands are going to be at a little bit of an angle away from each other. Kind of like we're pointing towards the two back corners of the mat. And we'll return to rocking a little bit forward, a little bit back. Not far, not fast. Just moving. A little bit. Okay. All right, come into your neutral place. Now, if you are comfortable doing so, point the fingertips directly back to your knees at the mat. Right on back there. Hands are straight down. Okay. And a little bit forward and a little bit back. Ooh. We'll be really patient and kind with our body here. Sure, we can probably, some of us can probably stretch a lot farther than this, but let's be kind with our body. Let's not feel like we have to push it. Okay, come back to neutral. Point the fingertips towards the front of the mat. Okay, let's move into a hero's pose to get to our seated posture, which is a seated posture, but we're going to bring the hips back. We're going to stack the spine up tall. Okay. We're going to relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Okay, let's bring the palms out before us just loosely so the arms are kind of wobbly. Okay, bring the palms to the midline of the body, lace the fingers, rock the wrists around for a moment. Ooh, let that tension go. Rock the wrists around. Okay, pause that movement. Push the heel of the palm towards the front of the mat. It is up to you if you want to strengthen those arms and really push through. If you want to relax the shoulders, relax the elbows, and just feel the stretch, okay? All right. Very good. Let's drop the palms beside us. And let's come into a full seated posture. So we'll bring the hips all the way down to the ground. And I'm going to rotate to you guys. So bring the hips to the ground. Okay. Let's start in butterfly. So we can start with knees to the sky. We're gonna keep the two big toes together, or keep both feet together in the middle of the mat. We're gonna let the knees fall away from each other. So now that we have our butterfly posture, I usually like to cue that it doesn't really matter how close those heels are to your body. I know that gymnasts and dancers are trained to keep those feet as close as possible for the stretch. But in yoga, if you need to extend those heels out to give yourself some space, by all means, give yourself some space, okay? Set the hands softly to any surface that you think you can hold on to here for balance. We'll start with our tall spine. Shoulders rolled back so the heart space is open, okay? Tall spine, open heart. Talk about it all the time, okay? When we forward fold, all we're going to do is exhale and push the heart a little bit forward, okay? I know how tempting it is to just reach and grab and pull. I know, I know, okay? It's not about getting the heart all the way to the ankles today. Um, 
It's not about grabbing as far as possible because a lot of times when we tend to grab in our forward folds, we tend to grip and, and, and clench up our shoulders. We're just trying to relax. That's all. Big breath. And exhale. Inhale, let's rise up into our tall spine. Let's go ahead and stand those knees to the sky, soles of the feet flat. And I'm going to rotate again, but we're going to start to roll back on our mat now. So, when we feel comfortable, we'll roll back on the mat. Okay, let's bring the knees straight up to our chest. Wrap the arms to ground around the leg and roll with it. Rock and roll. Knees to chest posture. So gentle, so soothing. Hopefully, some people don't really enjoy this posture, and that's okay. That just means you're not alone. I've seen it all. Favorites and not favorite posture. No judgment. All right. Let's come back to our neutral place. And today, because we spent so much time on our legs, <laughs> you may not like this one, but we're going to kick those feet way up into the sky over the body. So let the palms fall away from you. Let's kick those legs way up into the sky. And this is my favorite thing to cue for here. So we're in legs in the air here. Literally, that's all we're doing. And I always see people struggle, and I myself struggle to straighten the legs. Yeah, you like try to whew, try to strengthen those knees and everything. And some people make it look so graceful, and that's awesome for those people. But if you need to soften the knees, please do. If it helps with your endurance, keeping those legs taller, but leaving the knees soft, go for it. It'll help you build up to a place where you can start to challenge to strengthen those legs later. But if you're in legs in the sky and you have soft knees, I would ask you to at least flatten the feet to the sky above because then we're flexing those muscles down in the calves. We're just going to hold for a moment. Okay, we're going to start here, wherever here it is. Just breathing. Okay, and this is going to seem silly, but we're going to massage the tailbone a little bit more specifically. So I want you to imagine that you can point those toes to the sky now, and I want you to imagine that those feet glued together, stuck together, are like a paintbrush. And the ceiling is our canvas right now, and we're going to start just painting circles. So we're going to keep the legs strong. And we're going to start to roll those hips around in a circular motion, like the toes are painting the ceiling above us. It doesn't matter how straight the knees are, and we don't even have to flatten the feet right now because we're painting the ceiling. Okay, reverse your circle wherever you're at. Just reverse. Okay, challenge yourself. See if you can keep small, tiny, tiny circles near the midline. Or if you can open up way out wide in a great circumference, it's totally up to you. Great circle. And reverse. Just keep on, you know, changing it up on yourself whenever you feel like it. Big circle, small circle, left, right. All right. Three more breaths. I know you're starting to feel a little something. All right, pause all movement, come to the midline of the body, start to bend the knees, bring those knees back down to the chest. This time, instead of wrapping the arms all the way around the shin bone, just set the hands to the soft parts of the knees and then rock and roll just a little bit, okay? We're gonna start to open up those legs. So let's use the next exhale to come to stillness and kick one leg way out long to rest. And then the other leg, whoo, way out long to rest. Awesome. You can set the feet to their own corners of the mat. You can relax the shoulders down away from the ears. You can rock the head side to side. You can rest the hands over the belly, over the heart, way out wide, way up tall. You're really the boss here, honestly. It's your uh, restfulness. So... Feel confident in making decisions for yourself here. I'm not the boss of you. You can create as much effort in this restfulness 
and as much rest as you want. Stillness or movement, totally up to you. But I will ask that you keep on breathing, letting the inhale rise to expand and letting the exhale fall back down into the body. Keep on breathing. Five strong breaths here, at least. All right. In traditional yoga, we can stay in this restfulness posture for anywhere between five to 10 minutes. So I'd like to open up this opportunity again. Give yourself all the opportunity that you like here. Movement, stillness, legs out long, butterfly legs, broken bridge, change your mind if you want or just remain where you are and choose to soften the face, close the eyes, relax the jaw, and just keep breathing. You're welcome to pause the video here to create the rest of your restfulness, or you can move with me back into a seated posture. So again, we wake up the toes, the fingers, we roll the ankles, the wrists, maybe the hips and knees, maybe the shoulders. Ah, we can rock the head side to side, and when we're ready, we can roll to a favorite side of the body. We can push off of the ground and rise up into any seated posture that we like. rooted and strong, and stack the spine piece by piece. We can roll the shoulders down and back. And let's take just a few more moments to bring our mindset uh, to our purpose or our intention practicing yoga today? What is it that brings you here? What is it that encourages you to challenge yourself? Or encourages you to choose more restfulness today than you did yesterday? few more breaths. It is at this time at the end of our practice that I'd like to thank you for choosing to share your time and your practice with me here today. And again, it's the light within me that honors and bows to the light within you.